Hey, you guys, Erin here, just dropping in to give you this week's astrological update. Now, in my very strong opinion, the heavy hitter is coming through Pluto. Pluto is actually going to be doing some very interesting things over the next year and nine months, but they're just starting out now. To understand where I'm going with this, let's start with talking about what Pluto influences. Pluto brings a very powerful transformational process. In fact, it's like a death and rebirth process that we experience through Pluto. And what I mean by that is degeneration, but then with a more powerful regeneration. And we can definitely be empowered by Pluto, especially if we know how to work with his energy. Okay, Pluto is very much associated with the underworld. In fact, in Greek mythology, Pluto is really Hades, the ruler of the underworld. This Plutonian energy can bring us into the underworld and show us all the dark, scary stuff, expose us to the dark, scary stuff. This is a time when we want to work on our shadow work, right? But then we climb out of that and we're very much empowered through that process. Now, of course, we're always experiencing Pluto's energy. It's not like Pluto ever goes away, but he works with extreme force when he's changing zodiac signs and he's doing that for the first time since 2008 but what pluto's going to do he's been going to the sign of capricorn since 2008 and now he's moving into the sign of aquarius but only for a few months then he's going to retrograde back into capricorn then he's going to move forward again into aquarius then he's going to retrograde back into capricorn again then he's going to move forward into aquarius again and this is all going on between now and december of 2024 then starting in 2024, Pluto picks up momentum and he's really in the sign of Aquarius all the way until 2044. Now, when any celestial body is doing a dance between two zodiac signs, it's extreme force that comes through with that influence. Okay, now as a collective, we can think about it this way. Like I said, Pluto has been going through the sign of Capricorn since 2008. Now, the sign of Capricorn actually rules the structure of our civilization. Things like traditions also has a huge influence on uh, authoritarian establishments, that sort of thing. Now, when we think about what's going on with the structure of our civilization, we've certainly seen a major transformational process regarding the structure of our civilization, especially clearly in 2020. But that was Pluto was conjunct Saturn and Mars and Jupiter in the South Node. It was very wild year in 2020. But that was part of this very powerful transformational process. Not only that, but when we apply this to the authoritarian establishments, things like government, that sort of thing, Pluto reveals secrets, brings them up from the underworld. We have seen all kinds of secrets being revealed regarding our authoritarian establishments. And it's still not quite done because Pluto's now in that anoretic degree. Well, actually now he's he just moved into the sign of Aquarius, but he's gonna move back into the 29th degree, which is a very, very powerful degree of any zodiac sign. And he's gonna be dancing back and forth. So between now, and if you think about it, 2024, the year of a huge election that will be going on, I do see some very, very powerful transformation going on regarding all of that, our authoritarian establishments, again, the structure of our civilization, anything that you know could be revealing secrets. Now, this is something to pay very close attention to, but moving forward, moving into the sign of Aquarius, so Aquarius is actually the sign of humanitarianism. Aquarius is really the sign of the people for the people. And I do see... This is going to be, Pluto is going to be going through the sign of Aquarius all the way till 2044. So over those 20 years, we are going to see some major transformational processes going on regarding uh, the people for the people and the people taking their power back. That's the way I see it anyway. Not only that, but the sign of Aquarius rules technology. Okay, think about what's going on with uh, artificial intelligence and digital currencies, all kinds of things. We're going to see some very wild processes of very powerful transformation regarding all those Aquarian energies, As again, as a collective over these next 20, 21 years. But as individuals, things could get very interesting here. Where does the sign of Aquarius come through your natal chart? Does it come through the area of your life that rules over your money, your relationships, your communication, your career, your karma, 
your physical health. There's all these different areas of your natal chart that this sign of Aquarius could be coming through. And you're about to experience a very powerful transformational process regarding that specific area of your life. Not only that, but do you have anything in your natal chart near, say, zero or one or two or three degrees Aquarius? Let's say you've got Mercury at one degree Aquarius. Then my goodness, over this these next few years, your entire mental function and more than likely your communication skills are going to go through a very powerful transformation. Or let's say you've got Venus near one degree Aquarius, then your relationships may be going through some sort of a powerful transformational process or the way that you appear, your beauty might change very drastically over these next couple of years. There's so many things that we can look into in your natal chart regarding this Pluto transit. And if we know how to work with this energy, again, we could be very much empowered through it. So if you get a reading with me, I can, we can go through all this. Not only that, but I offer you a free video recording. So you can always go back and watch the recording because it's always a lot of information for somebody to process in, in one sitting. So you can always go back and review the recording. And not only that, but once you've got a, a better understanding of your natal chart, then you can see when where anything, whatever is going on astrologically, what specific area of your life it would be manifesting through. So if you would like to schedule a reading with me, you can go to the East West website, which is eastwestbooks.org. When you go to that website, you'll see right on the top, there's a link that says readers and healers. If you click there, it's very self-explanatory. You will see exactly how to schedule a reading with me through East West Books. Okay, you guys, I do hope to hear from some of you. And until next time, namaste to all of you.